Hi, I'm Ron Nutter, and welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Nutter. This time, I'm going to show you how to get Amazon Audible to work with Android Auto. Try to say that and not get in trouble. And we'll do it in about four steps, and that starts now. <laughs> In the last video, kind of showed the basics of getting Android Auto up and running. And you don't have to have a vehicle that's equipped to support Android Auto to get it to work. I've got several videos yet left to do, and I think you're going to be very pleased with what you see. And I've had some things today uh, happen with the Audible and Android Auto integration that were very interesting. It's very straightforward to do. It couldn't be simpler. Uh, I'm just glad I've got the uh, Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, but it should work on other phones, other Android phones. I've not had a chance to try it with the Apple phones. I'm not sure that there is an, an Android Auto equivalent at this point, and there may never be, just like there's some things that are on iOS that may never move over to Android. Hopefully that will be not an issue in the coming years. So it, to, to review where we stand, you know, I've got the Galaxy S9 Plus. If you haven't already gotten an Amazon Audible subscription, please consider doing so. It's, yeah, it's 15 bucks a month, but there are some very good books on it, especially like the Tom Clancy novels. You name it, there's things on there. Star Trek, it's, you could spend hours looking. So it's, especially if you do a lot of driving, and it's, it certainly beats trying to listen to a bunch of short podcasts. You just punch this and go. But I tell you what, enough of that. Well, let's get over to the video. But before we do that, I just wanted to take a moment and thank everyone who has subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate the support you're showing. And if you've got somebody who you think could benefit from, especially the Android Auto pieces that I'm showing now, and I've got several podcasts yet left to do before I will be trying to get my hands on a vehicle that has Android Auto built into it. We would be curious to see how how that part will work. There's there's so much it has to offer. I mean, even now with having the Google Assistant as a part of this, you know, this very much leverages in, into the smart home. It's It's been pleasant to see how well this works, and there's going to be a few bumps along the way. But uh, nothing that I don't think any of us can, uh, can, can't find a way to get past. So thank you for subscribing to the channel. If you haven't subscribed to the channel and you're seeing this video or one of my other ones for the first time, please consider doing so. The information that I've been putting in, this is volume one of the book. Volume two, I'm in the middle of writing now. I don't know if it will be out by the end of the year or not. Certainly early next year. And things are always changing, so it's been very interesting to uh, to see this so far with the way things are unfolding. And, I, and we're just, like I've said this before in some of the other videos, we're just, I think, on what's going to be considered the uh, the golden age at this point, because things are really starting to come together. So let's shift over to the video on from my camera, or actually from my, my S9+, Plus, and we'll take it from there. Now we have switched over to my uh, Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, and we'll get into Android Auto. And once it's up and running, then it's a matter of tapping on the headphone icon in the lower right-hand corner. Now, if you haven't already got the Auto Black installed, it may not even get you this far. And to say if you have been over on, well, I'm not using the right thing, tap on that again, I should know better. Say if you were in Podcast Addict. Okay, and then to get into Audible, you'll just tap the Audible icon. Now, if you get this message, that's fine. That that's, but what happens is when the Audible app is running under the Android Auto uh, umbrella, for lack of a better phrase, if you don't have any books on your local device, this is the message you'll get. So we'll just exit out of Android Auto. And we'll go directly into the Audible app. Of course, you can see I've got a little bit of a library here. And the and the, how you can tell that, that you're not having a problem is if you tap on the My Library and change it to Device. And it says No Titles Downloaded. This is essentially what you're seeing within Android Auto. So we'll go back to Cloud. 
And this is a great thing that if once you've played your Audible book, if you have a smartphone or tablet that's a little tight on space, you can delete it from your local device, but it's still out in your Audible cloud account. So we'll just select, select Kevin McNick's Ghost in the Wires. Had a chance to meet him several years ago, and it was a very interesting presentation. Now, you will need to download the books before you start using Android Auto, like I said before. And it takes, you know, a few minutes. I mean, mine's downloading over the the Wi-Fi connection, so it won't take too long. And if you've got a very long drive, then you may want to have several books. But it does save space if you delete everything off the local system that you can. So now at this point, it's ready to go. So we'll go back to Android Auto. And we'll click on the headphones. Now we should go directly into Audible. Now at this point, it doesn't know that we've got anything necessarily. So we'll select a Ghost in the Wires. And I'll go ahead and stop playback. But you can see how to go from there. And really, that's all there is to it. Audible has had been, for me, a, a great source of books. I've been very happy with it. And the nice thing I like, and I've been working with this exclusively now for for several days. I mean, I've used it often on in the past, but the Android Auto interface is really nice because the icons down here at the bottom of the screen make it so much easier. So I can flip between ways. I can do... And, you know, they're going into Audible. So it's where before with the other approach I was using, which was not Android Auto, it could get a little bit of clunky when I was switching back and forth. So really, from, from a driving safety standpoint, this is a uh, very interesting uh, approach. Uh, sorry, let me get the sound turned up there. And what I noticed today is I sometimes on my travel to and from the office, Ways is kicking in with a lot of directions, uh, you know, turn left here, uh, accident ahead. And what I really noticed, and it at times might have seemed annoying, but once I got used to it, it actually was very nice. When Ways seems, or whatever the map program is, seems to be given priority in Android Auto over Audible. And this is why I'm saying it, because when Ways would start to say something, it would poise Audible. Waze would do whatever it needed to do, and then it would relinquish control, sorry, relinquish control back to Audible. So it, in, if nothing else at times, it, if it didn't do a clean stop, it would seem to roll back, uh, one to three seconds, because I'd hear a little bit of a repeat from Audible of where I was at when it stopped. And to me, that's very acceptable because at times when I was doing the other system with the Roy Viva, and I don't fault the Roy Viva at all, but the underlying app, uh, whether it was a podcast app or uh, Audible, it, there wasn't the, the, the sync, not the synchronicity, but there wasn't the, uh, the integration between the two so that when Waze had to kick in, that it would pause whatever else was using. And then don't even get me started on the, the problems I ran into on the iPhone side where if a device was trying to use the the Bluetooth link, it wouldn't let anybody else touch it. And that's there was a, a lack of a traffic cop situation. So I was very pleased in, in the drive today to and from the office that it was, you know, at times it was disrupting listening to it, but I was getting important information, which at the end of the day, when you're trying to avoid having problems in traffic, isn't that the better way to be? So it's... In, you know, you're going to have to try this out for yourself, but I think you'll be very pleased with, with what you see. It's, uh, it's well worth a look at. I mean, it's $15 a month. There is a affiliate link in the show notes. So if you do get a subscription and your first month, uh, you get two books as a part of the trial. I think you'll find it's well worth continuing beyond that, whether you like sci-fi, whether you like history, whether you like fiction, there's something there for, for everybody. So it's, it certainly, it lets you keep up with your reading material instead of having to maybe only read a few pages at nights. And sometimes there may be, when your eyes are just flat spent, you want to read, but your eyes are telling you, really, you want to do that now? And Audible is a, is a good way to do that especially for those that have vision challenges, whether it's macular degeneration or 
you know, there's several things out there. This is also a good fit for that. So if you have somebody who is having some vision difficulties, they can still get to keep up with their favorite kind of reading material. And that way they don't feel as isolated or you don't have to go searching sometimes what almost would see a fruitless search for large print books. So that really is going to be a, a plus for all concerned. So this is just one more step in the video process. Next video I'm going to do is going to show you how you can use Android Auto in a vehicle that doesn't have Bluetooth. And there, there are several options there that uh, are, are very reasonable in terms of price and are very functional. So thank you for watching the channel. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And make sure you click on the bell notification icon so you've got a reasonably good chance as much as you can with YouTube of being notified when I do come out with videos. I try to do about two to three a week. And if nothing else comes up on the radar, I mean, I've got, I'm well into next year at this point with what I've got planned. But when something kind of like Android Auto did came up out of the blue, I really had not planned to do anything on it until I started looking at it one day and realized that with the Google Assistant integration, with everything it had from a vehicle standpoint, and I don't even have a vehicle that supports Android Auto. Hint, hint, any of you auto manufacturers, reach out to me. I'd love to have your vehicle and be able to feature it and show people how forward thinking you are of being able to do something like this. So thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you for watching the video. We're, we're approaching 700 subscribers and it's, it's been a long journey, but we're going to keep moving because I want this information to be as helpful as it can to you. Thank you for your time, and we'll see you in the next video.